Hi, I'm Kim. You're watching Kim Wilson TV. My channel is dedicated to helping victims of narcissistic abuse get free and stay free. Over and over again in emails and in the comments, and thank you guys so much for all your support here at our channel. Every subscription, every comment, every email I receive means so much to me. And uh, many of you ask for my email address, and of course, it's uh, KimWilsonTV at gmail.com. I love hearing from you guys. But one thing I've heard over and over again and have felt myself is the statement that I will never be the same again. This has changed me. I'm a different person and I want to talk about that today. Clearly we have seen the darkest side of humanity. Clearly we have experienced extreme trauma. We have, many of us, have taken quite a financial beating. Our careers have been jeopardized. Relationships have been jeopardized. But when I look in Am I a worse person? No, no, I'm not. When I look out at you guys, do I see terrible people? No, no, I don't. I see people who are courageous, who are brave, who are willing to stick their necks out and share some really sad, humiliating, life-changing shit with perfect strangers. The other thing I see is this incredible camaraderie, this friendship, this unity. So we're not strangers at all. Do I see people whose souls have been damaged? Yes, but altered in a way that makes them less of a person? Absolutely not. In fact, I see people daily reaching heightened levels of understanding, reaching out and compassion, again, for, you know, people who have just met here at the channel. The friendship that I've seen tells me that whatever change occurred in us, it wasn't a bad one. We are not worse people. We are not what they wanted us to be. They wanted us to be destroyed. They wanted us to be dead, to be gone, to be diminished. They wanted to take our souls, take our identity, and leave us broken, empty shells. But that's not what I see here. I don't see that here at all. I see love and friendship and kindness and people extending themselves, and even people who are feeling tremendously sad, finding the courage to reach out and try and help somebody else. So yes, we have been changed. Is it for the worse? Well, if you consider the financial beating, the isolation, uh, the soul sickness and the brain trauma, yeah, possibly in some ways, but we're not letting it stop us. We've developed as individuals above and beyond it. And that tells me that we were probably targeted for good reason. I mean, we are absolute champions, and that's the truth. You consider um, how life-changing events can truly diminish someone. That's not what I'm seeing here. I, I'm seeing such a determination to reach a heightened level of understanding, a heightened level of compassion for your fellow man. I'm seeing people just blossoming and into new careers, people moving into massage therapy, Therapy intended to help victims, people moving on as counselors and therapists, authors, people sharing their story, a lot of people starting YouTube channels and sharing their experience. I mean, I'm seeing such an incredible outpouring of really positive human character traits, despite the transformation in us. How many people here have said or said to me in emails, you know, I feel vengeful or I feel angry. I hope I'm not becoming a narcissist. Well, of course you're not. And you know what? I think that recognizing the true, raw human emotion fitting your circumstance is just more awakening. It's part of a larger awakening. When someone has treated you as badly as we've been treated, it's fair to be angry. It's fair to want to see justice. Now, I don't really want to get into the word revenge or spite or any of that. But, you know, we live in societies where justice is kind of the foundation of our society, where those 
systems are in place when someone does something wrong they're punished and we've not seen a lot of that so i think it's very natural to want to see justice and it doesn't make you a bad person for wanting justice so many of us me included will absolutely admit to confess to experiencing some sort of psychic transformation clearly when I look out at all of you, I'm going to say for 100%, the change in everyone has not been for the worse. I do believe it's been for the better. I do believe we've undergone an awakening, a spiritual awakening, a mental clarity about what the reality of the human condition is today. I think that the protective forces that we're putting up, the walls that we've built, could actually serve a great purpose in protecting us from this type of abuse, you know, in the future, as long as we don't ever allow it to be the wall that keeps friendship out or the possibility of love out. Together, we've gone through some really incredible personal growth. We've gone through growth as a collective. We've gone through an incredible... I got to tell you, the fact that we're from all over the world, the fact that this is a global collective is incredible to me. It's absolutely incredible. Today, right now, I have friends that live in France, Finland, Sweden, Germany, all over the United States. Uh, we've got friends here uh, from Morocco, from India. It's amazing. It's absolutely amazing what's happened. And at a time on this planet where, you know, the elite is really trying to create division amongst mankind, we have come together from the far corners of the earth, everybody holding hands, everybody just loving and caring for each other. So if we've changed, we've changed for the better. With everything we've learned here together, I can say absolutely, I will never fall victim to one of them again. Absolutely not. Uh, I almost feel like I've got this narc spotting superpower where I can just x-ray vision right through their dead, empty souls and spot them immediately. Yesterday, when I did the video on trust, you know, I, I really wanted to say something else about that, but I've been kind of sitting in it for a minute. And I'm going to say now, you know, as far as my wavering trust goes, I have zero trust in Trevor. But, and this is nuts, I now have 7,000 new friends that I trust in completely. When somebody says that the smear campaign was a lie, holy shit, I'm down. I get it. I know that. I believe you. I trust you. I absolutely trust every word you say. Why? Because I've stood in your shoes. I, I've worn your shoes. I've walked miles in your shoes. I know what you've been through. We all know what each other's been through. So where trust has broken down, an incredible amount of trust has grown. Initially, when people started saying, I've changed, and I started to recognize a change in me, there was almost a sadness about it. And I'll tell you, that's gone. Yes, we've changed. Did we change for the worse? Hell no. We've changed for the better. There has been a tremendous global awakening, a tremendous global friendship built. And to be honest with you guys, as bad as those five years were with that man, I wouldn't trade this for the world. If the trade-off was that horrible five years in exchange for you guys, fuck, I won. I really did win. And if I've changed, I don't believe it's for the worse. I believe it's for the better. And I see it in your emails and comments every day. I believe we've all changed for the better. I started this channel hoping to find one other person. Sorry, I'm choking up. <laughs> one other person that knew what I've been through. The fact that there's 7,000 of you. Thank you. Thank you so much. The thing that's changed my life the most is you guys. I'm Kim. I hope you guys are having a great NARC-free day. Peace be with you.